Hey everyone, um, weird to be doing a video on my personal YouTube channel rather than for work purposes, but I've just upgraded my streaming uh, camera to the Canon M50 Mark II and I wanted a permanent power supply for it and the power supplies from Amazon don't seem to work with the Mark II out of the box, uh, but I've managed to fix that as the title suggests, so hopefully this helps some of you and uh, I'll show you how I, I managed to get it working. So the first thing I did obviously with the uh, buying the M2, I'll, I'll show you right here. So I've got my shiny new camera, um, but obviously it's gonna just be set permanently on top of my desk. I'm not really gonna move it, so I wanted it permanently powered. Um, so I went on Amazon and I eventually settled on this one here, and I'll put a link below in the description uh, because this is the one I've managed to get working. I think the others that say they don't work probably will work as well with this fix, but um, you know, mileage may vary. This one definitely does work. So I went for this one because there were no kind of negative reviews. The first one I found uh, was this one, which looked again like it would work, was the right shape and size because when I Googled for this originally, I just did DC uh, E12 DC coupler because the battery type um, of the official Canon battery is uh, LPE12. Uh, so that seemed to be the right fitting. So I found this one, but this one explicitly said in the reviews, uh, da, 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 does not work with M50 Mark II. Like I said, I think it's probably the same issue, but um, I'll put a link to the one I've actually got here. So let's have a look at it. So here we go. Um, yeah, it comes with this uh, basically adapter that's the right shape and size. Uh, the little conversion unit from 5 volt USB to like the 8 volts needed for the camera. Um, and then this just plugs straight into the bottom of there. And the reason there's a socket there is this camera, the M50 Mark II, um, won't actually power on with the battery door open like this. So there's actually a little rubber cover on a little hole so that if you do want to use the uh, powered devices, you can see that. Um, what we can do is we can put this straight in here, close that up, and then plug that in through there, which gives us the permanent power. So I'm gonna plug this straight into the bench on a USB anchor power supply. And what we're gonna see, this is what I saw as soon as I tried to get it working. Um, there is power getting to the system because the screen flashes briefly. You see that? You try turning it on, flashes briefly, and then does nothing. If you leave it on and press the shutter, it'll keep trying to flash as well. So it's definitely getting power, but it's not switching on. So I thought, hmm, that's, that's weird. So I went and fully charged the real Canon battery to try and work out what the difference was. Um, so I tested, I got my multimeter out, and I'm going to try and prop this up so you can all see it. There we go. And then what I did is I, whatever, had a look at like what all the pins of the official battery were doing. So we looked at like the pin furthest out, nothing between the, the one and four. One and three was eight volts. One and two was no volts. So I compared that to the powered battery, the USB one we've just bought, and we see one and four, no volts again, one and three, eight volts. And then here's the difference, one and two, eight volts, whereas on the real Canon battery, one and two show no volts. So as a little bit of a hack, I'm not sure you'll be able to see this. Um, I have a tiny little bit of sellotape um, on the end of these tweezers. And what I'm gonna try and do on camera, if the focuser let me with my fat fingers, is I'm just gonna cover up with tape that pin that is eight volts that on the official Canon battery is zero volts and see what happens. So with that covered up, I'll put the battery back in the camera. I'll plug the power back in and voila, we have a working 
full power supply for our Canon. So yeah, something something clearly changed between the um, M50 Mark I and the M50 Mark II because everyone was saying that they work fine on the M50 Mark I's but not on the M2's if you read a few of the reviews. So putting a little bit of tape over that second pin, um, if, the, if the pins are on the uh, left-hand side and you put a, let's just show you that actually. If the pins are on the left-hand side, uh, the second one from the right, if you just cover that with a little bit of tape, that should solve your problem. Um, hope this is useful. As I said, I'll put the link down below for the Amazon um, item that I purchased. And uh, yeah, happy streaming.